Good morning, children. Good morning, children. Today we will going to study chapter three of Python, that is file handling. In this particular chapter, we will going to learn how shall we create files. Let me show you. In order to create a file, you need to go to any particular drive. For example, in this case. I am going to E drive. Let me click on my this PC. I opened my this PC. Then I move to E drive. Here I am try to create a file. So in the blank area, I have right click. Then I pointed to this new option. Then I click to this text document option. Now this text document has created, and I am renaming this file to file one. Now I'd like to write something on this file. Let me show you. I have just opened all. All of you know this kind of uh, file creation in your class four, five, three. All of you have met this kind of files. So I am creating a file. There I am writing. This is our school. This is our School S C H W L. We study S T U D Y. We study in class twelve. Done. Now what else? I'm going to save the file. Let me click on the file menu. Then I click to save. So this is how a file is created, and I save the file. Same way, I, we can create a file using Python programming also. So, in order to open the Python uh, programming, you have to open the Python. Ideally, you people already know that. So, I am writing here Python UI. See, Python ideally came up. So, I have to launch Python ideally. Let me open it. Here we have the Python ideally. Here. I'm going to create a new file. You people have done this before in class 11 also, creating new files. So just you need to click on the file here, then click on new file. So a new file is created. First, let me save it. Click on the file and click on the save. Okay. The file we have created manually earlier. We have name it. We have name it uh, the file one. Now we are going to uh, write this file name as Python file P Y F one. Okay. So this is the Python file. Using this Python file, we are going to create a file in E drive again. The way we have created a file manually in E Drive, now we are going to create a file same way using the Python ideally. Very simple. Let me save it. Okay. So I have saved the file. In order to create a file, you need to write here one thing: f equal to open. This open command. Is used to open a file as well as create a file. Remember this. This open command help you to create a file as well as open a file. So as we are doing this using the Python ideally for first time, we are going to create a file. Okay. So where uh, in which location we will going to create the earlier location? We have created a file earlier in E Drive. The same same way we will going to create a file in E Drive. So we have to write here E Drive. There we just click on E Drive and created a file. Here we start writing E Drive E colon. That means we will going to create a file in E Drive. Then double slash. Okay. Then file name. Earlier we gave the file name. We have chosen the file name as file one. This time we are going to create file two. File two. Dot txt. For example, this file we are going to create file two dot txt. You have to close the braces. 
after that you have to write w that means you are going to write something on this this file this w stands for writing writing mode so why uh, what is the significance of writing this w because this w tells you that you can able to write something on the file okay let me show you there we have created one object f using this object f this variable f object means variable this variable f we will going to open we will going to write something on the file f dot write w r i t e f dot write here we will going to write this is our home this is you can write anything according to your choice but i am writing this this is our home then i will put a slash n after this acha what is the significance of slash n slash n means the next line n stands for next line this n means next line that means you can able to write anything on the next line if you don't write n then whatever you write in the next line will comes to the same line so that is why we are using the next line you just omit n one thing you people can try just omit this n and try out what it, what the result you will going to see now f dot write w r i t e f dot write i am writing here now we are at home we are at a home okay then i am closing the brace again i am closing this first bracket after writing the file you need to close the file that is your duty you have to close whatever the file you have opened so i am writing here f dot close c l o s e so first line open the file this line signifies you open the file this file uh, this line signifies that significance of this line is that you have closed the file now we have to save the file again we save it again now we'll going to run the module as you people did before run the module see if there is any error you will going to see here there is no error that is why this line came up okay if there is any error you won't see this you will see the error message so that means we have not made any error that is why it not showing anything so we have to do one thing we have to minimize this screen again we will going to minimize this one now we will going to this pc again in this this pc where do the uh, where did we save the file e drive to so click on the e drive see this file the this file was created before by me this is our school we study in class 12 i have written manually let me close it this file i have created using python programming this file is created manually this file is created by python let me double click it and see whatever i have written in the python prompt it came here okay so whatever the thing we have uh, written before this is our home now we are at home we can see here on the screen let me close it let me tell you one thing another let me tell you one more thing here this is the way you can write line after line in a file one thing you can do except writing all these line differently you can create here one list you people have created list in class 11 similarly you can create a list here also i am writing here li li stands for list okay i am right i am creating a list of sentences okay let me create a sentence double double quotation there i am writing 
this is summer now this is summer now this in, this is my first string this is my first sentence comma after that i am writing another sentence uh, we enjoy enjoy summer vacation we enjoy summer vacation third we eat mango this time 